Good morning. It's Thursday, live with Dr. JJ from the NM Care Prayer Corner, reading from Galatians. For I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel that was proclaimed by me is not of human origin, for I did not receive it from a human source, nor was I taught it, but I received it through the revelation of Jesus Christ. When we speak of revelation, it happens in front of us, in the person to our left and to our right, behind us and before us. If this letter is bad news for authoritarianism, it can be good news for those committed to the constant renewal of Christianity. It is good news for those outside systems of power who might see more clearly in ways in which Christianity has been cut off some of its own limbs in the name of tradition. It is good news for all those oppressed by the church, women, slaves, the poor, it is good news for all those lovers of Christ whose wisdom about the divine is distorted or repressed by the leaders of the church. Paul is trying to convey to the Galatians, and perhaps to us, that Christ's revelation and Christ's love continually break through the bounds that religion sets on them, and the church cannot be reminded of this often enough. In verse 15 and 16, Paul describes how his conversion began when God, who had set me apart before I was born and called me through grace, was pleased to reveal the Son to me. Indeed, all conversion stories begin with God's decisive action. God always takes the initiative. Part of the times when God became more than just a name to us. And may our love break through the boundaries created by human beings, including us. O oh God, amen.